here we have some of my cleaners. Right, let me take you on a fascinating guided tour, shall we? Starting with this one, we're going to home in, that one there. That was the very first machine I bought, I paid £168 for that one, which is rather expensive. Now, let's just move along, fascinating as this must be, to that one. That's a Hoover Centertronic System 20. That was quite a bargain, that only cost me just under £50, and I only got that today. The reason it was under £50 was it's a discontinued model, I found one at Harrogate, the same place I got my freedom from, and I got it transferred to York and bought it, so that is very good value. Next to that one is one of my favourites, that's a Hoover Compact Electronic Total System. The reason they call it a total system is because it has that little power driven head there that has a rotating agitator. Oh, this is boring, isn't it? Anyway, never mind. And there's the cleaner. Next to that tiny little thing, that's a brush vac. That's a handheld cleaner with a rotating brush for dog hairs and things. Next to that, that's a pretty basic machine that was only £60, £65. That was bought from Alders. Sorry, that was bought from Coe's. That was bought from Trimag, that was bought from Victoria House, which is co-op. That was bought from Alders in Croydon, the big department store, which is my favourite place for vacuum cleaners. That one, that is another bargain. You see that? That's a Hoover Concept 1, and that's a big American machine. I got that from Victoria House for £58. Again, it was a discontinued model. Now, what I really would like is that model, Concept 1, but you can get it in a power drive version, well you used to, which means it propels itself around the room without you doing anything. You just guide it where you want it to go and it, and it propels itself so you, there's no effort. Right, that was next to that one, that's the Hoover Turbo Master. The one I'm getting next in that series is one with built-in accessories and they're built into, whoops, there. They're built in on the side anyway, the machine. That's the Hoover Sensortronic, what is it, System 20. That's just the previous, well that's the one that's just superseded that one. Alright, there we are. We're all getting out of focus. Let's back off a bit. Total System 5, which is my first cleaner. That's System 30, another one I got cheap. That was £80 instead of £130. Again, because it was a discontinued line. That little thing is very powerful, it's called a Porter Power. That one is a compact electronic. I got that from Alders as well, and that's a compact electronic total system. I got that from Alders too. And now that little burgundy one, it was the model before that, so they've improved it quite considerably. Now, if you follow me around, interesting. That's a Hoover Turbo Power Autoflex. Now I got that from a cat. No, no, my dad bought me that one. That's a Hoover Turbo Power. That's the middle of the range, and my. I bought that one from a catalogue. And I got that Turbo Power Junior from a catalogue. And then next to that, the famous Hoover Junior. And next to the Junior, that's the Freedom 1000 that I got from Harrogate again for £42.50. That was a bargain. And now this one, the Piste de Resistance. Excuse my French. Now that is a rather unusually styled machine. And that's the one that shampoos carpets. I'll show you a. Uh, a video of that later on. Now let's just we'll go out of focus a bit. Let me just show you this. Now just bring it round. See if I can home in. That's better. Now this controls the suction power. You just press it. Press that to boost the power. 1100 watts, 900 watts, 750, 600 watts. This little button you press to turn on the pump. That lights up when the bag is changing. Automatic flexi wind. The tools, the small tools, store inside. But when you want to use it for for shampooing, you remove this dome. There's a bucket that fits inside. The dome goes on top, and you fit the spray hose into there, and it shampoos carpets. Oh my god! That reminds me. That is one machine. Stupid idiot I am that I've left out of this. Now, I tell you what, I will just walk over here, put this down, that's it, 
Ugh. Let's just see, is that a nice shot? No, that's not a very nice shot. Let's try and get you a better shot than that while I'm searching. Well, I'm sorry, you're going to have to put up with that. Right. I've forgotten, like a silly old fool I am, to get out my other wet and dry cleaner that washes. Ugh, it's heavy. That requires setting up, so I won't bother. I will just put its hat on and show you it. Dump that there. That's it. De -de -de -de. Right, I'm back again. Up it comes. On my shoulder. Right, bit of a mess now, but that one that looks like a wet and dry, which is far better than that rubbishy goblin aquavat your mum bought. Now that's an aquamaster. Now that works, I think that w it was half the price, or well, £100 less than this, but it works better for shampoo and carpets. In here, you put the shampoo solution in that tank there. To use it as normal cleaner, you have it like that and the handle. The shampoo is circulated through the fibres using a special cleaning nozzle and all the dirty water oh, yawn, yawn, is sucked back up a tube into the main waste container there. That one is quite new, that cost me £120. And I got that from Curry's on my discount. Right, now this is probably the best suction cleaner I've got. It's a Hoover Sensotronic Total System 50, which at the moment is the top of the suction cleaner range. That, that is the top of the Hoover range completely because it's the most expensive. But that is the top of the suction cleaner range. Now I like this one because it's got some nice little lights on. Watch this. When you switch it on, you see this? I'll try and get it in focus. That's better. That's a remote control. You can switch it on using the remote control. You can vary the power, which I'll show you in a minute. You can also boost the power, which I'll also show you. And you can switch to automatic, where the machine will do everything for you, apart from blow your nose. So, as I switch on, I can boost the power, and I can vary it. Also, if the bag becomes full, I can pull that off, or there's a blockage in the hose, which I'm going to now simulate, there's a little light on the machine that tells you it's blocked. You see? Ooh, isn't that fun? And, if I can get that on. Now that one wasn't too bad, I got that in a sale, £10 off, so that was 100 uh, thirty nine ninety nine, which is quite good value really for all the things it does. So now this I'm plugging in, trying to plug in. It's not in focus, so you can have a look at that. Ugh, come on, you stupid! Oh my god, this is so boring for you. I know it is, but I'm sorry. But if you want to know about me, you've got to know about me Hoovers. Now let's just squat down a minute. Oh, why on earth aren't you plugging in, you darn thing? It's awkward with a, a heavy video camera on your shoulder when you're trying to do things. That's it. Ugh, I think. Now, if I can adjust myself, there we are. It's also got a power driven head for deep down cleaning. Now, if we switch the machine on. Now adjust it to that, about there, and switch the power head on, if I can, with me foot, go on. Also, this model features unique build, well, it's not unique anymore, it was unique when it was out. But since then, lots of manufacturers have copied them. The small tools are built inside. It's also got, under there, a built-in air freshener and a huge reusable bag. I think when I'm famous, one of my ambitions, apart from being famous, 
is to be the voiceover in a Hoover Hoover commercial. Now, what else can I show you? So that that is a nice machine, but it's very heavy, very heavy indeed. Now, out of all these, I'll step back and see if we can get a, a larger picture. I'm trying to pick out my favourite, and it's a difficult task. Which one should I plump for? My favourite upright at the moment has to be that, the he, uh, Hoover Turbo Master. But when I buy the one with the built in tools and the automatic flexi wind and everything, that'll be my favourite. My favourite cylinder at the moment has to be the little compact one, because it's a nice colour and it's very powerful. It's got all the features. And my favourite multi purpose one, of course, has to be the old Aquatronic or Aquachronic as some rude people say. That's my Hoover Junior. Now I can't be bothered I'm afraid to get out my old cleaners because they're in a rather an inaccessible place at the moment which would mean an awful lot of effort getting them all out but I'll send you a photo of those when I when I eventually do it. Now these are the cupboards where most of them fit in. If I can open it and if you can see see they're quite roomy this one's got a shelf in so I can put a double there. I've got three cleaners in my wardrobe, one in me at the end of the wardrobe there. So but that's yes. Anyway that's that's my vacuum cleaner collection. There is one missing. I have another porter power, which is similar to that, but it's a different colour, but I let my mum and dad use that one. Um, the ones I plan to get, I will show you which ones I plan to get, because I got a brochure. Oh dear, that's heavy. You know, it really builds up the muscles lifting these bloody things about, I can tell you. Now then, that'll be a bit dark, I think, in there. Now, I'm sorry about that. That vax cleaning solution I use in my Aquamaster because it's cheaper. Now, all these, all these are leaflets. Bit of a mess. Hoover leaflets. I collect those as well, so if ever you go into any electrical shops, I'd be very grateful if you can get me some. But only Hoover leaflets. Anything Hoover, washing machines, whatever, I'd be very grateful. Now then, if I can just squat down here. This is a, not a current brochure, it's an old one. But I want to show you the model I've, I told you about, I think. I told you about in one of my quick letters. Now that's it. Now let's see if I can get it into focus. It's rather ugly, I think you might agree. But I'm, I'm getting it because it's discontinued. I've put a, paid a deposit on it for the, so they can save it for me. But it's rather clever because it doesn't use a dust bag. You see at the bottom of this bag is a little cup thing. And that collects all the dirt, you see. Ah, one, one machine that I would absolutely kill for, as I said, is that, that model, but a power drive version. If you ever see a Concept One power drive advertised in the paper or anywhere, buy it, I don't care how much it costs, I will refund you the money and somehow get it. But that, the self-propelled cleaner, is what I want. My God, I know you think I'm a potty little bugger, but I am absolutely bloody fascinated with these. And I I cannot give you a reason, home in, there we are. I cannot give you a reason, Sue, or Mandy, if you're watching, hello. My name's Roger, I'm, I'm sure Sue has told you a lot about me. All good, I hope. But Sue, do you know what? I think you, I think you, you, what you say to me, you say to all your pen pals. I don't think I'm your favourite. I don't know why I would be. But if I am, I'm touched because you're my favourite pen pal. But I don't have as many as you've got. Have you got rid of David yet? He's all right. Bloody. I mean, I thought I was weird, but him. You cannot write a proper letter, and I think it's absolutely a, wa a complete waste of time. If you've got a pen pal and you just write him what he writes, you know, questions and answers. You've got to tell people your feelings, I think, and... All right, tell them the mundane things, you know, got up, uh, had a shave, you know, um, watched TV, boring, boring. But also tell them your innermost feelings, thoughts, hopes, fears, whatever. I mean, that's that's what I tell you, Sue. And I, I think you tell me a lot of things that you wouldn't normally tell other people. But anyway, there we are. That's for cleaners. Let's have another go of this because it's fun. Whoops! Turn off the power head because it does run away. Mm. 
wonder how much this would all come to. Let's, you can work it out. Okay. I'll quickly give you the prices. So that one is 60, 115, 35, 65, 58, 120. That one, uh, 110, 168, 80, 55, 43, 69. That little dust set there was 29. Compact Electronic 84, Total System 115, Turbo Power Auto Flex 109, Turbo Power 100, Turbo Junior 90 pounds, Aquamaster 120, Aquatronic 230. Bloody hell, what a waste of money. This thing one I could have bought instead of buying all these rubbishy things. Never mind, it keeps me happy. This one I was chuffed to little mint balls with getting. Compared to the others, if I can show you it. It's extremely old-fashioned that machine, but it, I wanted one, and it, it makes it's you know an important part of my collection. But as you can see, I am rapidly running out of space to actually keep these. I don't get them out often. It's once in a blue moon that I get them out like this for you to see. But um, I like them. <laughs> but I'm going to have to. I don't know what I'm going to do because I can fit. I can make room for at least three more cleaners, just about three more. But after that, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Any suggestions on a postcard to Roger?